Hello, my name's Chris Hornby. I'm not Scottish and I don't play the bagpipes very well, but I'm a great fan of the bagpipes and bagpipe music. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd have a try and I bought myself a digital chanter. In the first place, I bought a Fagerstrom uh, techno pipes, which is a brilliant bit of kit, but it just looks a bit like a ballpoint pen or something. It's not very much to look at. So I thought I'd buy myself a set that looked a bit more like a set of bagpipes and I bought us a set of red pipes. pipes. Um, I couldn't afford the expensive ones that actually looked like proper bagpipes, so I bought the red pipes classic. And then I discovered that you could buy cheap bagpipes off Amazon um, for about £60 or eBay. And I thought, what if I put my bagpipe chanter into one of these sets of cheap bagpipes and see what happens. Um, now I know if you're a real bagpipe player that the digital chanters don't quite cut the mustard and of course the bagpipes that you get from Amazon or eBay are absolutely useless uh, but they look quite nice. Um, personally I don't have time to adjust the drones try out different reeds. Um, I don't have much wind in me because I'm getting quite old. So I thought I'd pimp my red pipes chanter by dismantling them and sticking them inside a cheap set of bagpipes. And uh, this is how I did it. Uh, if you want to do it, uh, by all means, but Bear in mind that you probably lose your guarantee and I can't be held responsible if you blow anything up. It all worked for me, however, and I'm very pleased with the result. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, dismantle the red pipes. If you're using a Fagerstrom or some other kind of chanter. Obviously you won't need to do all this bit. Um, bear in mind that your guarantee will probably be useless after this. Um, so only do this if you're prepared to take the risk or if your guarantee has expired. Personally, I was prepared to take the risk. Hope I don't regret it. Now, just to make sure it's all working, I plug it all together and start playing. So I'm just going to press the uh, baby's water bottle down a bit. Here you go, got the drone. There you go. Okay. It's all working. The next thing you do is you get this amazing set of bagpipes off eBay uh, only 60 quid don't know how they do it I read up on them and it tells me that they are only good for display uh, but they are nevertheless supposed to be working bagpipes they come with a book tell you how to play them they come with a practice chanter there you go that you can, you can uh, practice playing them and so on so we're going to unpack these bagpipes and see what happens what I'm going to do is Stick the guts of the red pipes into these bagpipes, and uh, we'll see how that works. We'll go. Bagpipe learning book. Everything you need to know about how to play the bagpipes in one little book. What's not to like? Here we go. What's this? Uh oh. This is the chanter. 
one of the tender drones over there. Uh, is the planter. Obviously, this is going to be replaced by the red pipes chanter. So that can go in the bin. All right. Uh oh. Here's the bag. Uh, nope. Gosh. I've unpacked the full set of bagpipes. There's a great big bass drone there, a couple of tenor drones, chanter, practice chanter, loads of reeds, and this tassel thing. Um, don't know what the correct Scotch name for that is. And um, and it's all ready to get going. Now there's probably different ways of going about it. Either we can remove the bag from this set of bagpipes and replace it with the red pipes bag inside the cover. Uh, that'd be one way of doing it. Pack it out with stuff in the game. Another way of doing it would be to use the existing rubber bag that's here and populate that with the guts of the red pipes. I ordered um, the black watch tartan but all I've got is a plain black bag. That's fine for me. Um, the whole lot, 60 quid. I said I don't know how they do it. Well, admittedly it's all plastic. Don't know what it sounds like. Um, and I'm never going to find out because the first thing I'm going to do is dismantle it and replace it. Uh, replace the insides with an electronics bad pipe. I've decided that it's too much of a bodge to try and stuff this bag inside the other bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bag the internal bag of the bagpipes and put a zip there um, just to make sure that you're not that you're cutting in the right place you need to blow the bag up which I'm going to do now so the bag's blown up I want to put the zip along there so you need to mark a straight line along there cut and, and put the zip in I'm not sure I'm going to put the zip in. I'll probably use contact adhesive. Although I might be able to get my dear wife to sew it in. Uh oh, I cut the wrong side for the zip. It's not a train smash, smash though. Because I've got access to put the electronics in there. And... I can seal it up again afterwards and I'll maybe put a zip in at the bottom. Not not sure about that. I might get away without using a zip at all. See how it goes. I've cut the slip for the windbag uh, here. I've cut a slit here. That's where I'm going to install the zip. And then put the case for the electronics and the battery inside and screw it in there. Take, take care where you place this, put it somewhere where you want it. I put it just behind the tenor pipes. Um, and the next thing is to cut the bag away from inside so that we can install the electronics. Uh, the only thing that you should make sure is that you've got enough cable to go from the chanter to the electronics. Put it too far away, you're going to have to get yourself a new cable. Not an easy task because it's a ribbon cable. 
Uh, you could do it because it's just the um, um, the standard computer ribbon cable and the, the contacts. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cut out the the bag away from the inside of, inside of the electronics case. Doing that now. Easy job. Now of course the user interface panel is going to go in there but there's an outer bag so what I'm going to do is just cut a slit in the outer bag when I'm ready and push the electronics through and you can tighten that tighten the panel up against the outer bag at least that's what I hope I'm going to do and we'll see how it goes next you might want to work out uh, where you're going to put everything um, and your idea might vary from mine I'm going to put the baby's hot water bottle behind the electronics because that will be in a good position for me to squash with my elbow when I'm playing the bagpipes which only really leaves one suitable place for the speaker which is at the back in the corner up here um, so I'm going to put that there if you haven't got a speaker you don't need to worry about that it's not necessary to have a speaker after all so I wire everything up make sure it all works and when it does I'll install the zip and seal everything up and then work out whether I'm going to stuff it with with um, padding material like the original or whether it's feasible to actually blow the bagpipes up. Um, I think if you seal it so there's no leaks you'll be able to blow the bagpipes up without any problem. I probably won't because the reason I got these bagpipes was because I didn't have to blow them up. Now we've got to install the loudspeaker. Um, you stick it to the back, to the inside of the bag with double-sided sticky, then cut the hole out. This is the, the case for the loudspeaker. Then we need to locate the holes for the screws. So if we go to the back and just have a look, there's one there somewhere. You can locate it with a pin. Stick the pin through and we do that for each one. Now I've located the four loudspeaker holes and that gives me the location of the screws. Do them one by one and install the loudspeaker. Oh, there the loudspeaker is installed. Um, it's up to you if you want it to go through the outer tartan bag as well. It's not necessary. The sound will get through uh, very easily. And there's a big hole at the back anyway, and it's near the back. The next thing to do is to fix the chanter to the bladder uh, with a cable tie. Um, that's the way it's done on the original red pipes anyway. I would use at least two cable ties and there's no need to put sticky stuff in there as well and um, thread the wires through the case for the electronics and we're all ready to connect up and test when we've tested made sure it's all working um, then we can do the final assembly glue the zip in and stuff the bag
Uh, I've plugged it in and uh, it's ready for testing. I've, the only thing you need to make sure is that the air tube, the neoprene air tube, make sure you've inflated the baby's hot water bottle up nice and hard. If it's not hard, the whole thing will just buzz all the time. So I'll make sure you've inflated that properly. So here we go. So that's all working now and it's ready for me to assemble. I must just go to the shops and get me some contact adhesive to install the zip and then I'll stuff it all and we're hey, off to play the bagpipes. Uh, just one other thing, make sure you refer to the photograph you took at the beginning of where the wires go. Um, they're not wired conventionally with the positive in the middle so that you can't reverse the polarity. So you might do some damage if you put the, the, the wires back in the wrong way. I take no responsibility for that. Now that we've drawn the bag over the uh, bladder and all the guts and everything, it's time to locate where we've put the control panel. It's there. And what we need to do is cut a hole for the control panel. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do it whilst I'm filming because uh, that might take my mind off it. It's a rather a delicate matter. So now I've um, mounted the... Uh, hey, can you see that? Mounted the um, control panel and just cut a couple of slits in the in the bag I loosened off the control panel dragged the the edges of the bag underneath there and tightened it up again and all is good now so everything is ready now all I have to do is put a little bit of padding inside and we should be good to go so now I've finished the pipes and they look fantastic, I think you'll agree. Um, I'll play them for you in a minute just to show you that they do play. Um, there's just a couple of things I need to say. First of all, there's no sole on the standard Red Pipes chanter. Um, that's the silver thing that goes on the end. So I've printed one out. Um, and I'm going to plate it silver. And that just plugs in on the end of the of the um, chanter, so it's got it looks it looks a bit better. Now you can do exactly the same thing. You can do a set of bagpipes with the with the techno pipes chanter. Um, there's not nearly as much work you need to do. All you need to do is get the uh, the chanter from the bagpipes, unplug it, tuck that bit away and you'll need to epoxy the jack for the chanter there then you can just plug the chanter into there and and you'll have a techno pipes chanter just put it down there as you can't see it. I've also designed a sole for that so it looks better where you could cut this one off and put it on. Um, uh, if you want the STL files for the bagpipe soles that I've designed, you can get them on my Thingiverse channel. Um, 
Okay, so there's nothing left for me to do but uh, play them. And apologies for the standard of my playing. I'm not a Scotsman, as you can probably gauge from my accent. Oh yes, for the Technopots, you'd need some sort of amplifier to go inside the bag. I'd recommend one of those. Uh, they're available on Amazon. It's a little a Moon Mini amplifier. They're very loud. Operate off a 9 volt battery. And um, you can stick that inside the bag uh, with the Techno pipes. And you've got a complete set of bagpipes as well. If you wanted a better sound, you stick an iPad inside there. There's plenty of room for one. And run Universal Piper. That'd be really neat. Okay, I'm going to play them now. Get the drones. Put the volume up a bit. Okay, forgot to blow. Normally, I just remove the mouthpiece, but I thought I'd put it there anyway. <laughs> 